Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of the Green Tea Room with your host, Lovely T. I hope you guys are doing good today. I love that theme song, honey. It's a bop. I don't care what nobody says. <laughs> so as it comes out, I'm dancing. Okay, so thank y'all for joining me. It's a lot to talk about. I know a lot of people have been requesting that I do a green room. A lot of folks want to vocally voice their opinions about all this mess that's going on um, in the industry. And so the topics I want to kind of hit on today, how do you guys feel about everything that went down yesterday with Jennifer Hugh on the um, the real show? Uh, her basically calling out Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty. And then also today on The Breakfast Club, Jason Lee was on there basically explaining the whole Karen Civil thing. And I'm going to play an audio clip really quick so you guys can hear that. And then later on today, DJ Academics was also going off on Nicki Minaj and Karen Civil. So all of this shit is just crazy, messy. It's a bunch of, like, I've always said this and people thought I was just being standoffish and stuck up. But I've always explained to you guys, there's so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you guys don't see, you know, and a lot of people only show you the, the perfect image of their blog and the perfect image of their YouTube videos. But people don't understand what goes on behind the scenes, how much work people put into their content, and then how much fuck shit people do behind the scenes to try and take other people down. And for me, I'd rather just not be involved in none of that. Okay, I like being in my own little corner, sipping tea, minding my business, dealing with my supporters, and that's it. I, I if, if, if having to be friends with people in the blogging and and social media industry leads to some of this shit that's going on with people hacking people and people taking money from others and just all the nonsense that comes with it, I, I'm cool right where I'm at, honey. You know, what I'm saying I don't have time for the nonsense because a lot of this stuff, honestly, um, keeping it real. A lot of this stuff is things that that could lead to street escalations. You know what I'm saying? You're playing with people's money and people are talking about you got them for 60 grand. Other folks are talking about you hacked them. That can turn street really quick. And I just hope all this stuff just stays on the blogs and they just let whatever lawyers that they want to handle this stuff. I hope that's what happens. So let me go ahead and um, play you guys this audio of Jason Lee on The Breakfast Club this morning. So give me just a second. And basically, he's talking to Charlemagne, saying that he feels like Karen Civil should go to jail. I, I, you know, I fuck with everybody involved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't hate nobody. I either love you, wish you well, or hope you heal. Do you really want to see her go to jail, Jason? Yes. Why? I'm going to tell you why. Because let's have this conversation. Everybody wants to see Tory Lanez go to jail for shooting Meg. He hurt a black woman. Allegedly. So if he's found guilty of hurting her, that's a crime. He should go to jail. Mm -hmm. Protect black women. Protect Jesse Wu. Protect the women in Haiti. Protect the women, the black women that were my employees who were subjected to almost losing their jobs as a result of this cyber crime. It's a crime. But it's it's a crime against somebody that may not be as popular as Meg or whatever. But it's still a crime. People should be held accountable. I mean, she's she currently got served for the, the, the husband who raped that girl. Uh, you know, she canceled the VMAs because she wasn't ready to do her performance, even though she blamed it on COVID and didn't get the Video Vanguard Award as a result of that. I don't even know if we dropped that story. But all these, she has all these issues with me and she wants to talk about Karen Civil. So the person said, Nikki wanted to talk to me and uh, with Karen on the phone. I said, no, she can call me directly. I'll talk to Karen, uh, to Nikki. Uh, but, uh, but she didn't want to talk to me by herself on the phone. So the call didn't happen. The reason why I think Nikki is trying to call now and intervene is because when we pursue Karen the way that we're getting ready to, we got to go through a process called discovery. Where'd the $20,000 come from? How'd you file that on your taxes? Uh, did he file on his taxes? He's a minor. Did you have a contract with his parents? Did you get permission? What? What? I want to follow the money. I want to follow the text messages, the emails. Who's behind popping stories on? All right, so y'all just heard that. So now let me play the last clip, and that was DJ Academics going off earlier today. Let me pull that up really quick. Give me just a second. The type of chick Karen is, she's a scrappy bitch who save artists. I've seen her save artists. She begs platforms like mine, don't embarrass niggas. She's worked for Nikki. Nikki's a fucked up human being. She's tried to make she, her seem personable. That's all I'm saying, my nigga. 
All right. So y'all just heard what DJ Academics had to say. Of course, it's a longer rant. You guys can go watch it on your own. But at this point, um, I want to hear from you all. And the only thing I ask is that y'all be respectful. Um, you can have your opinions on anything, but just be respectful. Don't call into my platform and call these people out their name and, you know, say this person's all types of bees and whatever. Um, Cause my platform is not about that. You know, we can all be adults without disrespecting anybody in particular. Also with the Jennifer situation, if you feel like she's a liar and she's changed her story, that is your opinion, but please come with, you know, why you think don't just be like, Oh, she's lying because I'm Nikki's biggest fan. Please give us a reason why you think she's lying or why you don't believe her. And we're going to keep it respectful. So that's all I ask is that people be respectful. I know there's barbs in here. Make sure you keep it respectful because I'm going to give you the same energy that you give me because I know a lot of you barbs don't like me and I can care less. But I'm going to show you respect as long as you show me respect. So I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That part. <laughs> Let me go ahead and start taking some calls. Um, I sat to. Are you there? Go ahead. Hi, P. Know. Yes, I'm here. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? And how's the beautiful new house? It's go it's going good. It's going good. We're getting one room done slowly at a time. So thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. That's good to hear. But I just had a quick thing to say. Really, what I want to get off my chest is I feel like mm -hmm. we've always known that Nikki wasn't really for the girls. Like, she's never really gave me the woman empowerment vibe. It's like, you can say stuff in your songs, you can, like, make posts and say things out loud, but she never gave me that energy. Like, she was really, like, one of the girls that was for girls. So even, like, just the fact that you could tell she wanted to be the female rapper amongst the males, you know? Not, oh, I want to lead the way for other mm -hmm. female rappers. No, she always gave me the vibe, like, she wanted to be the one, like, I'm that girl, and I can rap next to the guys and be good type stuff. And then also, just like with this situation, I'm not surprised by what Jennifer Huff, Huff I believe that's how you say her name. I'm not surprised mm -hmm. by what she said um, with, um, I, I don't know if she said it in this interview or back when she did the original interviews a couple of years ago, when she said that she told Nikki, like, woman to woman, this happened. I'm not making it up. It happened. And she said, didn't she say Nikki just hung up in her face? Like, that's so, like, how can you just betray another woman like that? It's just, it's just despicable. It's like, she really doesn't care. She doesn't care. Mm. Yeah, I did get the feeling that for a long time, it did feel like she wanted to be the only female rapper. It wasn't like a lot of mm -hmm. real big collabs then, or, you know, things like that. Nope, not with the other girls that rap. No, she'll do with the pop girls and stuff, but she was never with that. I think that she kind of gives me that kind of bad spirit. And then like a lot of people have said, she was getting older and it's just, okay, I need to have my kid. I need to have my family. So she just, I feel like she rushed and she did it. And it just, it's not a good look for her. She didn't do, she didn't do anything wrong in marrying him. I guess you fall in love with who you fall in love with. But when you defend that, it's just, it's just egregious. It's just too far. She took it way too far. Well, thank you so much for calling in with your opinion. I really appreciate it. It was good talking to you. Thank you. Good luck with everything. All right. Thanks. So let me go ahead and bring on Ayana. Ayana, go ahead and unmute your microphone. Hey, everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. How are you? Oh, okay, pretty good. I just wanted to say um, it's just kind of disappointing seeing all this go out. I mean, I really was a big fan of Nikki until all this came out. I'm definitely not a fan of trying to silence another victim, especially being a female yourself. Mm -hmm. I just think she was just so desperate. You know, like some, a lot of people think just so desperate to have her baby and find a man at the end of the day. But she just did, in my opinion, she went about the steps all wrong. Um, and yeah, not, a lot of people are saying that she settled in the chat. Yeah, like I'm not trying to bash her or put anybody down, but it's just like, I would have thought her standard would have got her a higher caliber of man than what she got. <clears throat> and especially before mm. you quote unquote married this man, you know, think about what you have to lose by doing all this. It kind of makes me think about that whole, I'm going to stick beside him meme. So she literally did that. And so now everybody's That's my man. Saying, so now I'm just giving her the side eye, but <laughs> I just really hope that she, you know, at this point, I think the damage has she just has done too much damage, damage, and it's just irreversible at this point to her own brand. Okay. All right. Well, thank That's you so it. much for calling in. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Have a Sorry. good evening. Bye. All right, Kayla, go ahead and unmute your microphone.
Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi, Kayla. Oh, it's Kyla. Oh, Kyla. I'm sorry about that. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, my God. I'm such a big fan. I've been on here since, like, you first started the green room. Oh, my God. Thank Me you. and my mom here. We're such big fans. We love you. Oh, <laughs> thank you both. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Like, oh, my God. With this whole Nikki situation, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, what you said, honestly, if he would have just, if he would have just filed in the first place and just did all his court stuff, it wouldn't be a thing. Jennifer wouldn't be, like, right, out right. here. As long as if he would have handled his business, we wouldn't even known about him. But, you know, since he's with Nicki Minaj, he thinks, oh, he got to pass. Like, everybody loves Nicki. Everybody rides for Nicki. So I don't have to do it. Now, do, like, you, I know, do you think that maybe he might have felt pressure? Because what people are saying is that the reason why he possibly did not register is because, you know, once you register as a sex offender, your address and everything is public information. And because she's extremely high profile, she wouldn't want that for her and her child. So do you think that might have been the pressure? Because up until he got with her, he was always registering for the past 20 years. That's what I'm saying. Like, what changed? Which, honestly, like, it was going to get out in the news regardless if he filed or not. So you might have just did your business. Like, it it makes no sense to, like, just try to run away from it because it's always going to find you. Either you got to pay on the front end or the back end. Like, and clearly he's paying on both ends. But at this right, point, like, right. so, like, it's just crazy how people can feel like they can just, they're connected to somebody. They, they, can, they can do anything. They feel like they have power. Just like all them people who are running with R. Kelly feel like they have that power. And now R. Kelly's down. Now they're trying to hurry up and run. And, and trying to make shit. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody thinks they can just hide behind power. And no, like. You're not the one. You don't have the money. And I know Kenneth doesn't have the money to take care of himself. So I'm just like, you just should handle your business, bro. It's like, it's just that simple. And it's just right. disappointing. Right. Like now, like she has to suffer. Cause I know like she's probably mad in love and wanting a man and the family so bad. She's going to do everything to keep it intact. And now it just falling mm-hmm. apart in front of her face. It's, just, it's kind of sad. Yeah, it is. Well, thank you so much, Kyla, for calling in. I really appreciate talking to you. Oh my God, thank you for having me. Oh my God, I had a. Oh my God, I just love you so much. I've been here since like Lovey T News Network. So like, I'm such a, like a big fan. Thank I love you, you so love much. <laughs> my mom said, "Yes, we are." Thank you, you guys. Have a good evening. <laughs> All right, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Mm-hmm. Bye. Right, I appreciate you. you. Bye. <laughs> She's so sweet. Um, let me go ahead and bring on Andy Lopez. Andy, go ahead and unmute your microphone. Okay. It doesn't sound like he's ready. Make sure you guys are ready because I'm going to be calling. We have a lot of people whose hands are raised, so please be ready. Um, Hamdi, Hamdi Osman, go ahead and unmute your microphone. Hi, T.I. It's Hamdi from London. How are you? Hamdi. I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, The most concerning thing for me when it comes to Nikki, like before even her husband is her brother, uh, the whole case with her Mm. brother. Um, Granted, you know, this is a grown man and he did his own crimes, allegedly. But there were a lot of speculations in the media. People were saying she, she agrees with him. She's paying for the fees when it comes to, you know, the lawyers, she's never once denied it. She's never once publicly came out and, and tried to remove herself from the situation. Right. So Mm -hmm. now as a fan, now your husband has also a very dark past. And on top of that, you actually did come out. So you had nothing to say about your brother who people were saying you're paying for his legal fees. You support him. She's still in touch with her mom. But when it comes to her husband, she was actually, she went on Instagram. Um, I, I watched your video yesterday. And as you said, she actually tried to manipulate the situation and make the victim seem like a white woman that was coming for a black man in America, which wasn't the case. Mm-hmm. So she, her hands are dirty. So I don't feel sorry for Nikki at all because she hasn't come out and defended herself when the victim has come out and said, you've blackmailed me. You've sent people after me. You would think somebody who has that level of fame, that level of money would come out and protect their brand. So something's not right in the water as T would say. (laughs) 
<laughs> why are you not coming out you're a millionaire you have a brand people are you know accusing you of all sort of things so no i really like i i love Nikki's music I've been a fan since I was a kid but I cannot I cannot condone this bullshit she hasn't given us an ounce of you know to say okay Nikki's okay right now she's in the wrong unless she can come out and say otherwise but yeah that's okay. why I wanted to say all right well thank you thank so you. much for calling all the way from London I appreciate it all right okay let me go ahead and bring on be cheesy be cheesy go ahead and unmute your mic hi can you hear me Hi, I can hear you. How are you? Good. Oh, my God. I am online with the one and only lovely T. I absolutely love hey. this. Sis. I just got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Of course. So, look, my thing with Nicki Minaj is there's a lot of things that she's done that I don't agree with. But I will say this, and I watched your uh, live the other day, and you mentioned how the timing of this is very interesting. To me, mm, personally. Yeah, as, yeah. As you mentioned in the live, that interview was not recorded on that day. And, right. you know, what she said about the Pope, quote unquote, the vaccine, the vaccine, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. After she said what she said, the mainstream media dragged her, everybody dragged her. And then all of a sudden, here comes this interview. I feel like this is a concerted effort to bring her down. I'm not justifying what she did. I'm not justifying what happened to that woman. I feel bad for her. But I just think that the timing of this is extremely suspicious. Yo, hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.